You know you're in a country that doesn't particularly favor Americans when you say, I'm from New York, and they respond, oh, I love Canada. The world of travel, my friends, is a comedy show in itself. Picture this, you're strolling down a bustling street in a foreign land, sporting your favorite baseball cap, and you decide to strike up a conversation with a local vendor. You mention you're from the Big Apple, expecting a warm reception, maybe even a bit of awe. Instead, you're met with a jovial, Ah, Canada, I love maple syrup. It's in moments like these that you realize cultural misunderstandings and travel are two peas in a hilarious pod. They're like that duo at a party who keep mixing up their punchlines, leaving everyone in splits. So, strap on your seatbelts, or rather, tighten those backpack straps. We're about to embark on a laughter-filled journey through the top five countries, where, in 2024, Americans are not exactly rolling out the welcome mat. But hey, don't pack your bags just yet. Let's discover the top five countries where Americans are not exactly on the welcome mat in 2024. Starting the countdown with number five, we have the wild, the wonderful, the slightly wary of Americans. Iran. Yes, you heard it right. Our fifth contender on the list of countries where Americans might not get the warmest of welcomes is Iran. Now, before you start picturing a scene out of an action movie, let me assure you, it's not all doom and gloom. Iran, a country of rich history, breathtaking landscapes and mouth-watering cuisine, unfortunately has a bit of a strained relationship with the United States. And by strained, I mean it's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. It's just not happening. The roots of this frosty reception can be traced back to historical and political events. Remember that time in 1979 when a bunch of students stormed the American Embassy? Yeah, that didn't exactly set the stage for a budding friendship. Then there's the whole nuclear deal issue, which is a bit like a tug of war, with each side holding on to their end of the rope, refusing to budge an inch. But don't let this deter you. Iranians are known for their hospitality and warmth towards visitors. Just maybe don't wear your I Love America t-shirt when you're visiting the Grand Bazaars or magnificent mosques. Subtlety, my friends, is key. And who knows, you might just find yourself invited to an Iranian home for a traditional meal. Just remember, when it comes to the local customs and etiquette, try not to confuse your salam, hello, with your salamis. It could lead to some interesting misunderstandings. So if you're an American with a sense of adventure and a knack for navigating tricky diplomatic waters, Iran might just be the place for you. But for the rest of us who like our holidays more on the sun, sea and sand side, and less on the will I make it back in one piece side, you might want to think twice before visiting. Moving on, at number four we have, drum roll please, the land of the midnight sun, the home of saunas and Santa Claus. Yes, you guessed it, it's Finland. Now, you might be wondering, why would the Finnish give the cold shoulder to Americans? Well, let's dive into it. First off, it's not personal really. It's just that the Finnish people, much like their weather, can be a bit chilly. They're known for their reserved nature and value personal space, which can sometimes clash with the outgoing friendly demeanor often associated with Americans. So, if you're an American in Finland expecting a warm hug, you're more likely to get a respectful nod from a safe two meter distance. It's not you, it's them. Secondly, the Finnish have a strong love for their language. And while they do learn English in school, they would rather you try to wrap your tongue around their complex language. You think Sisu is hard? Wait till you try lento cone suiku turbieni mutoria pumekani siriopilas. Yes, that's one word and no, I won't repeat it. Lastly, the Finnish are fiercely protective of their culture and traditions. They are not big fans of Americanization, you see. They would rather jump naked into a frozen lake after a sauna than trade their salmiaki for a Hershey's bar. So, if you're planning on opening a burger joint in Helsinki, you might want to rethink that. In conclusion, while the Finnish might not roll out the red carpet for Americans, it's not a keep out sign either. It's more of a respect our space, embrace our ways, and please don't talk too loudly kind of situation. And who knows, if you're willing to brave their frosty reception and try your hand at their tongue twisting language, you might just win over the Finns yet. Who knew that the American dream doesn't translate everywhere, huh? Halfway through our list, at number three, we find the land of the rising sun, Japan. 
Now, before you get all excited about experiencing the cherry blossoms or relishing the sushi, let's dive into why Japan might not roll out the red carpet for Americans in 2024. You see, it's not about the language barrier or the cultural differences. Nope, it's about something a bit more, let's say, historical. The Japanese have a long memory and while World War II ended almost 80 years ago, some old wounds still haven't healed completely. There's a lingering sense of resentment in some quarters and Americans, unfortunately, bear the brunt of it. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. Japan is a country of contrasts. On one hand, you have the ultra-modern neon-lit cities like Tokyo and Osaka. On the other hand, you have the serene, traditional countryside with its temples, shrines, and yes, the cherry blossoms. So, it's not like they're going to send out ninjas to chase you off. But don't be surprised if you get a cold shoulder instead of a warm welcome. And let's not forget the Japanese etiquette. It's a minefield for the uninitiated. From bowing to removing shoes, it's easy to commit a faux pas. So if you're planning a trip to Japan, better start brushing up on your manners. Even though Japan is a bit frosty towards Americans, it's still a fascinating country to explore. It's like a puzzle that leaves you intrigued and longing for more. Every corner hides a new surprise, a new experience. From the bustling streets of Tokyo to the tranquil Zen gardens of Kyoto, there's something for everyone. So if you're an American, you might want to swap those stars and stripes for a more neutral flag here. But remember, it's all part of the adventure. After all, what's travel without a little bit of unpredictability? Just missing the top spot. At number two, we've got Chuckles. Oh, this is a doozy. Picture this. You're in a country where the national pastime is, wait for it, not baseball, but giving Americans the side eye. Yes, you heard it right. Welcome to our runner up. Now, it's not that they don't appreciate your freedom fries or your Hollywood blockbusters. It's more about politics than personal. Let's just say some past decisions have rubbed them the wrong way and they aren't too keen on forgive and forget. But hey, don't let that discourage you. If you're into cold shoulders and frosty glares, this might just be the place for you. You can consider it an extreme sport of sorts. Trust me, it's more thrilling than bungee jumping. Here's a pro tip though. If you do decide to take the plunge, remember, the local language isn't English. So maybe brush up on your charade skills. You know, just in case you need to ask for directions or the nearest exit. But let's be honest, there's a good chance you'll stick out like a sore thumb. You know, with your loud Hawaiian shirts, chunky dad sneakers, and your uncanny ability to turn everything into a BBQ. So, Americans, maybe leave this one off your travel bucket list for now. Unless, of course, you're up for a challenge. In that case, bon voyage, my brave friend. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. At number one, the country least likely to welcome Americans is... Drumroll, please. North Korea. Yes, you heard it right, folks. The Hermit Kingdom takes the crown for being the most, shall we say, exclusive destination for our American friends. This might not come as a shock to many, given the long-standing and well-publicized tensions between the US and North Korea. But it's not just about politics. North Korea is also notorious for its strict rules and regulations. Believe it or not, there's a dress code. And let's not even get started on their no-selfie policy. But hey, on the bright side, if you ever wanted to experience a digital detox, North Korea could be the place for you. After all, they're not big on internet access or international phone calls. Talk about going off the grid, right? However, it's not all doom and gloom. If you're an American with a penchant for adventure, or maybe you just really love kimchi, you could still visit North Korea on a guided tour. But remember, you'd have to follow their rules to the letter. So, if you're an American who loves freedom, spontaneity, and, well, the internet maybe give North Korea a miss. There are plenty of other countries out there that would love to have you. There you have it, folks. If you're an American, you might want to reconsider your globe-trotting plans, or at least, avoid these five countries.